Elsewhere, he leaves behind a legacy of torture and more than 100 alleged victims. Tonight, officials confirm disgraced Chicago Police Commander John Burge is dead. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov is live in the newsroom with more on his career. Dana. Rob, victims say Burge began torturing them in the 1970s, but it would be years before anyone listened. Could you state your name, sir? John G. Burge, B-U-R-G. That man and name are now synonymous with police torture in Chicago. For decades, victim after victim has talked about what they endured by or under the former Chicago police commander's watch. One, Eric Kane, is indifferent about Burge's death. I can easily say, well, I'm glad that dude gone. He, 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 he don't deserve to live. No way. But that does nothing for me. Kane was 20 years old when Burge's detectives coerced him into a double murder confession. He says they broke his eardrum, kicked and threatened him, and kept him from sleeping. So when they did that, I was willing to do anything they asked me. He spent 25 years in prison before his 2011 release. Tom Burge took away me. He created something that was not me. I've been struggling to find me ever since I've been out. Kane says he's never been able to reconnect with family or friends, and he's always afraid. I'm struggling now, still struggling to the very day, of every day just living. He'd rather be talking about Burge's contrition or apologies, which never occurred, not during any civil case. I exercised my Fifth Amendment right. Or after Burge was convicted of lying about police torture. And in death, some still defend Burge's time on the job. John Birch put a lot of bad guys in prison that belong to be there. They're supposed to be there. But Flint Taylor, a lawyer who spent 30 years bringing torture cases to light, says there are 125 Burge victims, and the city of Chicago has awarded almost $79 million to many of them, with two cases still pending. The city's law department spokesperson says adding legal fees and court costs, the total Burge payout is over $100 million. Burge, a Vietnam veteran, died at a Florida retirement village. He was 70 years old. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Dana, thank you.